Good morning children. I am very happy to see you all through this TV channel. Today I am going to teach class 9 English supplementary reader chapter 6 so, titled Little Cyclone the story of a grizzly cub. Before going to the story, I would like to introduce the important person who has come over here. Do you wonder whom it is? Yes, this is a bear. Children, I believe that you all love bears very much. Children, I have observed many children playing with doll bears. They carry bears, they feed it, they dress it up and they carry them wherever they go. So today this, this lesson is also about a bear. So children definitely I hope you would enjoy this lesson very much. Look at the bear. The bear has two big black eyes. See two big black sparkling eyes. And it has a pudgy nose. Say all of you. Can you repeat after me? This is a nose and it is pudgy. Pudgy nose. Pudgy means short and fat okay short and fat so this is a pudgy nose okay and see children when i feel it looks very soft the bear is very soft because of the fluffy hair can you repeat after me fluffy hair fluffy means very soft hair fluffy hair okay so definitely this lesson will be an interesting one for you children the interesting story is written by William Temple Hornaday. He is an American zoologist and he liked wildlife very much and he had written many books upon this wildlife. First of all, I am going to introduce the main character of the story, Little Cyclone. By the way, my name is Ranjit Sara. The first part of my name has come from my grandma's name. Ranjit. Mostly parents name their children with a reason. So here this little cyclone also is named after its bravery and boldness. It is very brave and it, it can oppose any animals. So it is named as cyclone. Actually the meaning of cyclone is a strong and fearful wind that nobody can oppose it. Such a way the cyclone also is very brave and bold and nobody can oppose it the cyclone. So it is named as cyclone. The second character is little czar, the European brown bear, a black bear cub and two captors. This little cyclone is a grizzly cub from Alaska. Shall we see some new words? First of all cuddling. Cuddling means hold close in one's arms as a way of showing love or affection. Look at me. Now I am cuddling this teddy bear. So cuddling is holding clothes in one's arms as a way of showing love or affection. On seeing the child, the mother cuddle her happily. Second word, stumpy. Do you remember already I have used the word stumpy? Stumpy for this. The bear has stumpy leg I told you. Isn't it? Stub, stumpy is short and thick. Looser garments can make us look stumpy. 
The next word is rage. Rage means anger. Look at the girl. How furious, how angrily she is waving her hands. So, rage means anger. Sorrow and rage pierced him. Next word, valiantly. Valiantly means bravely, in a bold way. See, the two bears are fighting very boldly with each other. Despite their valiant effort, they lost the game. The next word is crept. Crept means crawl. See how beautifully the child is crawling. In the hands of the clock crept slowly around. Fend off, defend oneself against. See how the players are defending among themselves. He was able to fend off the blow with his arm. Next word is vigor. Vigor means strength. He has great strength to pierce the log into two pieces. The man's vigor decreased as he aged, deliberately, intentionally, on purpose. He told us a deliberate lie. Next word, confounded, meaning confused. He doesn't know which decision he has to take. He is in utter confusion. Confounded means confused. His behavior confounded her. Next word is feigned. Feigned means faked or not genuine. It is duplicate we can say. He accepted the invitation with feigned interest. Formidable means dangerous. See the path, see the route, it is very dangerous to cross. The formidable curves is not easy to cross. Ignominiously, shamefully, Sometimes when you do some mischievous act or anything wrong, we feel ashamed. So, ignominiously means shamefully. The defeat was truly ignominious. Bald. Bald means cried loudly. Sometimes you people, you cry loudly like a small child, isn't it? See the old man, he is crying like a baby. Bald. The old man bald like a baby. Prodded. Prodded means poked. See?
I am poking the eyes of the bear. Poking means the miners poked and prodded at the site to locate some remainings. Timid lack of courage. The rabbit is timid. He is a, a person who drives the cattle while on horseback. Children, now we have studied the hard words and meanings. Now we can pass on to the story of the little bear. Once there lived a mother bear along with his two cubs in a hillside. One day, when they were grassing, they saw a hunter. The hunter had a gun, and immediately on seeing these three cubs, the hunter fire at the mother bear. On seeing the situation, the two little cubs began to run as fast as they could and they had hidden themselves behind some bushes. After some, after some time, after some time, they wanted to see their mother. They wanted to know what happened. So immediately, they came back and they saw their mother lying down. The innocent two cubs thought that their mother was sleeping. Actually, the mother was shot down to death by the hunter. Without knowing the fact, the two bears came there and they lay down along with the mother on both the sides. They slept peacefully till morning. Early in the morning, they were awakened by the disturbance of some human beings. Early in the morning, the little cubs were awakened by a small disturbance. What happened? They were surprised to see a man there. A man had come there to catch both the cubs. Understanding the situation, one of the cub began to fight very fiercely with the hunter, fought in a brave manner and finally it escaped and ran away. But the little cyclone was got caught. Immediately the man bound the little cyclone with a rope and he took him to a cage. And finally the little cyclone was sent to New York Zoological Park. The Zoological Park was a very big place and there were many trees. There were trees to take rest, trees to climb and swimming pool three dens to take rest and many things were there. Already there were few bears inside the zoological park. When little cyclone came to the zoological park, he was very bold and he was very brave and he did not fear for any other bear who was residing there already. Among the bears, there was a bear called little czar. 
was a European bear. On seeing the little cyclone, it began to attack. On seeing the little cyclone, it began to attack. On seeing the little cyclone, the European bear began to attack the little cyclone. At once, the little cyclone blew him back. In less than an hour, all the other bears came to understand about the bravery of the little cyclone. After that, he has gained a valuable position in the zoological park. Children, I think you might have enjoyed this story very much. Shall we pass on to the evolution session? How did little cyclone earn his name? He earned his name by the vigor of his resistance to all ill treatment. What happened when his mother was fired at? When his mother was fired at, he and his brother ran away as fast as the short thick legs could carry them. Who tried to capture them? The two orphans were awakened by the rough grasp of the human hands. How did the bears confront the captors? Bravely they big scratched and cried aloud with rage when the captors tried to seize him. Who rescued little cyclone? He was rescued by the friendly hands of the zoological society's field agent. Where was little cyclone taken? He was shipped to New York and was handed over to the Burr's nursery. How are grizzlies different? They are born full of courage and devoid of all sense of fear. Who was little Zor? He was very cheeky and impertinent bear, but a good natured European brown bear. Describe the appearance of the black bear cub. What did it do to little cyclone? The black bear cub was twice the size of little cyclone. He made a pass at cyclone and received a fierce blow instantly. How did little cyclone meet every attack? Little cyclone met every attack, real or fake, that was made upon him very carefully and meticulously. Children, I hope you might have enjoyed this story. Students, let's see the summary of the story. Today we have studied about uh, the little cyclone and its bravery. Little cyclone is a grizzly bear from Alaska. Already I told you, grizzly means a type of bear and which is not fearful for any other animals, any other bears. And the particular bear is from, little cyclone is from Alaska. And the next one had vigor to resist ill treatment. He had a great boldness. Little cyclone had a great boldness to attack any other bears. Never it gets scared of anything. And it was brought to the zoological park. And when the bear came to the zoological park, it stood up with much courage. And it walked with a pride. And it looked all around the zoological park and the bear loved it. And it had the courage to fight against any other bear within three seconds. And because of the attack, it was respected by all the other bears. Children, let me introduce some useful phrases for you. The first one is earn one's name. The meaning of the phrase is make a name for oneself. She earned her name in politics as a powerful leader. The second one, in the rear of, at the back of, the meaning is at the back of. Harry was sitting in the rear of a seat of his car. Third one, to see one fight, to struggle to get through something. I can see him fighting for his right to vote. Fourth one, devoid of. The meaning of devoid of is lacking in. This apartment is devoid of all comforts. Air and manner. To behave in a way that doesn't show how you really feel. Audi assumed an air and manner of indifference whenever her name was mentioned. 
quick as a flash, very quickly. He was at her side as quick as a flash. In wild haste, it means rapidly, quickly. It is very important that decisions are not taken in a wild haste. Make a pass, make advances to someone. Men seldom make passes at girls who wear glasses. Children, here is a quiz question for you. Amazed and confounded, Zal fled in a wild. Option A, haste. Option B, scream. Option C, rush. And option D, manner. Think and fill it up. The answer is haste. Very good. The second one, he attacks no one and never has had a first option talk, second option grumble, third option fight and the fourth one complain. Can you guess the answer? Yeah, very good. Answer is C, fight. Third one, little cyclone is a grizzly cub from do you remember first one London, option B Alaska, option C America and option D Europe. The answer what may be very good Alaska you are right. Fourth one he earned his name by the vigor of his resistance to option A bad friends, option B ill health, option C ill treatment and option C good behavior. What may be the answer? Wow, very good, ill treatment. Fifth one, dash they bit and scratched and ball allowed with rage. Option A, bravely. Option B, softly. Option C, fiercely. And option D, valiantly. Can you guess the answer? Very good. Valiantly is the answer. 